Welcome back to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy and today we are going to start really using some Postgres. We're going to create our first table so we can do our first queries. We're going to do some select, some insert, some update. We're also going to learn some helpful commands for when you're on the PSQL command line. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can take advantage of my free computer programming tutorials. The first thing I'm going to do is PSQL Candy to get right into the PSQL database name Candy. I'm going to backslash L to list all my databases. If you don't have Postgres installed and set up yet, you might want to watch my previous video on setting up and installing Postgres on Ubuntu. I will link that in the video description. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is create a table. I'm going to create a table called user underscore table. Remember, a database table is kind of like an Excel spreadsheet where you have the columns go up and down and the rows go across. So the column names are going to be the different variables, basically. And then each data row will be the actual entries. So the column names in my table are going to be user ID. That's going to be serial. It, that's similar to auto increment, if you're familiar with that, from MySQL or something. Um, it's going to basically automatically, you know, assign an integer for a primary key. That's a unique identifying number that's going to be special to just that data row. That's the way we're going to identify that data row uniquely for sure. Then username, I'm going to have that bar car. That's basically like um, a string. If you're familiar with like PHP, JavaScript, whatever, it's like a string. It's characters. Next, email. That's going to be the same data type. And the username, we're going to allow a maximum of 50 characters for that username. That's what that 50 in parentheses means. Email, same data type as username. We're going to be using characters. And we're going to allow a maximum of 60 characters. If your email has more than 60 characters, you're going to have to pick a different email to sign up for our application. Then the password, I'm allowing for up to 100 characters, but the users can have a much smaller amount of characters to choose a password. We're going to have to encrypt it. We're going to have to salt and hash the password. And when we store it in the database, there's basically going to be a bunch of random characters so we need the database to allow a bigger space. We're not going to salt and hash today. My plan is do a couple Postgres videos, do a couple Node.js videos, and then do a project using Postgres with Node.js. And we will be using bcrypt to do some salt and hashing. We specify the primary key. That's that unique identifier as user underscore ID. Now that we got our table, let's insert some data. The first insert statement is going to be insert into user table. And then parentheses, we're going to put the columns that we want to insert data into. So I have username, email, and password. We're going to write the word values. And in parentheses, we're going to put the values that correspond to the columns that we want to insert. So we have candy underscore cane as the username, codingcommanders at gmail.com as the email, and then the password is cupcake. Okay, as you can see, I have some helpful PSQL commands written out of my website. Backslash L is going to list all of our databases. Backslash DT is going to describe our tables backslash d table name is going to go ahead and describe that particular table now let's look at that data i'm going to do select star from user underscore table semicolon and you'll see with user id number one we have candy cane time we're going to insert username bradley Password Brad at gmail.com. And for his password, he chose love. Now let's go ahead and select another row of data. 
we're going to go ahead and put a WHERE clause into our SELECT statement. The WHERE clause is going to help us specify what data it is that we're looking to see. So I'm going to type SELECT STAR from user table where username equals Bradley. And then you see we only get Bradley's result. If we did select star from user table semicolon and left it like that, we would see user ID one candy and user ID two Bradley. So you know what happened? Bradley decided that love maybe wasn't the best password. He wants to do something more randomy to make it harder to figure out. So we're gonna do an update statement, update user table, set password equal to, and he's changing his password to some random momo jumbo, where user ID equals two. So let's go ahead, let's select Bradley and check up on his password. Boom, there you go. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below so I can help you out. Also, don't forget to check out the written lessons on my website. My website also has some cool blogs about other programmers and programming events. And I have an awesome t-shirt shop too. So check it all out. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, happy coding.